All right, welcome back, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Today we're talking about Twitter, right? And not 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 something that happened on Twitter, and not something someone said, but the platform itself, Twitter itself. Um, uh, I think there's a general consensus on the internet that Twitter is not the greatest place to be. It's filled with some of the most delusional, toxic people with the most outrageous opinions imaginable. Pretty much if you're not prepared, you're gonna get swallowed up by this hole of toxicity. It pretty much sucks, okay? I think we all know that. But what we may not have known is that Twitter itself is the reason for all of this. It's not the people on it. Twitter actively takes part in promoting such toxic behavior. It pretty much rewards people who go out of their way to say things without proof or without evidence. This complete slanderous lies get millions and millions of likes and are just actively promoted and rewarded. Essentially anything that aligns with their twisted agenda, which nobody even knows at this point because when we ask them to get Get rid of maps, right? You know, you know that community that uh, pretty much encourages disgusting behavior and allows PPs to continue luring minors into these kind of traps. Yeah, there's this whole movement to get them banned, but apparently it doesn't violate their policies. It's kind of mind-boggling how they do nothing about these disgusting accounts and still stand on this high horse of, yeah, we get rid of material that is against public interest and that violates our policies. Like, yeah, sure you do. You're about as consistent with enforcing your policies a as you two. In fact, you're 10 times worse because your, your priorities are so messed up. You are banning autistic people for saying the R word, but then you don't ban maps? Uh, m moreover, like the recent scandal, I, I think this just takes the cake, right? And that's what I wanted to talk about today. Because this is just unacceptable. It goes into illegality, right? Apparently, Twitter refused to remove the child bad bad thingy because it didn't violate policies. That in itself should let you know how incredibly stupid the policies are when there's not even a policy to prevent the spread of child thingy. Like, I still can't get over the fact that a guy gets banned for saying a word that he's allowed to say, but not literal disgusting material like that, not even removed at the request of the people who are harmed. That is unreal, man. And, and like, don't act like you can ban them because they're like, oh, they didn't violate policies. You ban the president. You can ban anyone. Like, you, you have ultimate power. It's your damn platform. Don't act like, oh, but we're at the mercy of the public. Only they can do. Like, the public is telling you to ban them, and you, you're still keeping them on the platform. So clearly, the only reasonable conclusion is that you want that material to be there which is just absolutely unreal. So pretty much the recent scandal is that they got a lawsuit for this, right? I mean, obviously. And honestly, let's just dial it back a bit, right? Remember when they said it, it doesn't violate our policies? Here is their policy, and it literally says child exploitation, you know, the thing exploitation. We have zero tolerance for child freaking exploitation on Twitter. Okay, so my question is, what what happened there? Did you, did you drink too much for several days in a row? Is your vision blown? Do you not know your own policies? And you know what's funny? Like, Twitter is cancelled was trending, right? For about an hour, or or maybe more. I, I don't know, from when I saw it, it was only trending for one hour, and then mysteriously vanished, while every single person on my timeline was still talking about it, and some absolute, like, irrelevant trend came up. So, you expect me to believe that Daddy Dream December trends for an entire day, Quackity's hair trends for an entire day, but the entire platform talking about you guys just disappears when everybody's talking about it. I, I can easily tell that more people are talking about that. You're, you're kind of like YouTube when you say, oh yeah, guys, I, I don't choose trending at all. It's like, it's completely natural. Like, yeah, that's why I see Jimmy Kimmel there every, every two seconds, right? It's so obvious that trending is manipulated. You saw something that was going against your platform and you're like, yeah, let's just get rid of that. Now, honestly, this is pretty worrying because it's bringing up some disturbing trends, right? This person says, it really says something about our society when Twitter doesn't see an issue with that. Netflix made a movie celebrating that. YouTube defends that. I still remember when YouTube banned a commentary channel for saying bad words, but not the guy literally abusing cats. Not the girl eating animals alive and causing them immense pain. And she's like got like a 3 million sub channel and is just enjoying it. She's still not banned, by the way. And not the guy who literally admitted he likes watching 13-year-old girls from Cuties and made a super long video justifying it. It really just 
just seems like everybody has their priorities messed up and honestly it's so frustrating to watch. This person says, I've been saying this for ages, I've seen some of the sickest stuff on here and some of it has been up for months. Twitter doesn't even have a report button for it from the drop down menu. Now some people were defending Twitter once again saying that they're a private company and they can do what they want. I mean, really, are you gonna die die on that hill with, with literally child pictures being circulated? Like, sure, they're a private company, but when I see something wrong, I'm gonna say it. I, I Like, that's against the law. Like, what? So here's an article talking about the whole situation. Around the same time, Doe's mother filed two complaints to Twitter, reporting the same material, and for a week, she received no response to suit states. Finally, on January 28, Twitter replied to Doe and said they wouldn't be taking down the material, which had already racked up over over 167,000 views and 2,000 retweets to suit states. Twitter responded saying, thanks for reaching out. We reviewed the content and didn't find a violation of our policies. Oh yeah, you reviewed the content, huh? So no action will be taken at this time. The response reads, according to the lawsuit, if you believe there's a potential copyright infringement, please start a new report. If the content is hosted on a third party website, you'll need to contact that website support team to report it. Your safety is the most important thing. And if you believe you are in danger, we encourage you to contact your local authorities. Twitter is a joke, dude. I I'm getting frustrated just reading this. Oh my god. This stuff actually makes my blood boil. Like, I've never been this pissed off. Imagine you're contacting a company to take down pictures of yourself and then, and then they go, yeah, doesn't violate our policies. What do you mean you don't see a problem? We both are minors right now and were minors at the time these videos were taken. We were both 13 years of age. We were baited, harassed, and threatened to take these videos that are now being posted without our permission. We did not authorize these videos at all and they need to be taken down. They then wrote back to Twitter. Twitter once again responds saying, our dedicated teams work to stay ahead of bad faith actors and to ensure we're doing everything we can to remove content, facilitate investigations, and protect minors from harm, both on and offline. Twitter is a joke, dude. Absolutely ridiculous. I, I am so sick of these hypocritical actions. They're messed up priorities. And honestly, this was definitely the last straw. Like anyone defending them at this point is just asking to get clowned on. And you know what's really, really sad? It's the fact that there is no replacement for it. It's like Twitter is a place to go where YouTubers can contact YouTube, right? In case something happens. Because the YouTube support team is only on Twitter. They don't work on YouTube. And if they do, they do it yeah, horridly. You can't even get into contact with them. So you're forced to be there as a YouTuber on Twitter. And it's super annoying, man. PewDiePie can leave because he's PewDiePie. If he goes, you know, it's easy. But yeah, hopefully something comes up that is a replacement. I don't know. Twitter just seems beyond help at this point. It just seems like all these companies just don't have your interest in mind at all. And some of the actions they take are just deplorable. Like pictures like that. I really, do I care if it violates your stupid policies? Take them down, you morons. Like, there's a right and a wrong here. There, it's like, it's plain as day. You have the power, just do it. Man, I'm just getting increasingly annoyed, but uh, yeah, uh, I think I'll end it here. Do subscribe to stay up to date with all of these topics and stuff. We talk about a lot of similar things. Smash like if you enjoyed, it really does help out. Comment below for the algorithm and share what you thought. And yeah, um, that's about it. Till next time, bye-bye.